Hey, this is Ed from I Bring Back. Got a short video for you today. This one is looking exclusively at how we work with file systems and directories using three functions in R. We got get WD, DIR, and set WD. Are you ready? Let's take a look. So I'm going to show you your first function in the Cita tutorial series, a very simple function. It is called get wd for get working directory. Now we use parentheses to pass arguments to function. This function takes no argument in this particular case. Get wd mash control r and you can see I get feedback returned here in my console and it gives me c and users my bring back documents. That's where we are. That's what directory we're working in right now. If we like, we can issue the command the DIR function, just directory, you may recognize it from Windows CMD, and it'll give us a list of files of what's in there. Now these are just uh, several folders, and you'll notice the script from our previous episode. Now when you're using R, it is often vitally important to be aware of the directory in which you are working, largely because you're going to use R to perform data analysis, and more often than not, the data you wish to analyze will start off in a file outside of R. So you'll be looking at pulling in a CSV file, or pulling in a text file or a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and you'll pull it in from the directory you're working on or working in most often. So right now we're in this my documents directory and let's say there's something here in this mbb underscore py directory that I wish to get at. What I would do is I would change my working directory by using the set wd function. Now unlike get wd and dir this needs an argument and the argument we're going to pass it is the path to the directory we wish to visit. So since that's just the subdirectory of the directory I'm in, I can go ahead and copy and paste this path over, use another forward slash, and hit mbb underscore py, which is just the name of a folder, and go ahead and pass that over to the console. You'll see here if I issue another directory command, look, you've got different contents. In this case, there's just one Python script in that folder. Now I want you to pay attention real quickly here to the paths used and you'll see they all have forward slashes. This is basic to every operating system except for Windows. The backslashes are often reserved for special characters, new lines and tabs and stuff like that. Windows uses backslashes in its file structure, but when you're in R, go ahead and make sure to always use forward slashes. A point where you're often going to run into problems with backslashes and forward slashes if you're going to try to copy a directory path out of Windows Explorer. So if I come up here and you can see all these come as backsplashes. If I copy and paste that, they're going to stay as backslashes. And if I try to pass that to a set WD function, I get an error. Slash U used without hex digits in a character string. So don't worry too much about what that means. Just make sure to be using forward slashes when you're giving directory paths to R. So that's the basics of how you manipulate your position within your file system from the R interface. Again, this is Ed from I Bring Back. Don't hesitate to like this video, show this video to people you love, and illuminate their lives with R.